This will be a demo of how to use Flowlink to move orders from your Shopify store in the QuickBooks Online automatically. So first of all, let's look at a quick demo of how we're going to do this. We're going to use Flowlink, we're going to tell it to get orders from Shopify, and then we're going to tell it separately to add those orders to QuickBooks. So keep that in mind as we take a look at how to do it inside Flowlink. On our connection screen, we'll go to our Shopify connection and we'll add a workflow. Once we do this, it reads fairly close to real English. Use the Shopify connection to get orders from Shopify. Every 10 minutes, we'll change it to 15. And then we'll just give that workflow a name. Get orders from Shopify. So what that's going to do is tell Flowlink to get orders from Shopify every 15 minutes. It'll just go get any orders that it hasn't gotten before and pull them into Flowlink. And that's it. I'm not going to hit the submit button right now because I've already got this saved. Uh, and then I'm just going to go create the second part of that flow, which is I'm going to tell Flowlink to send orders to QuickBooks every time an order comes in. So use the QuickBooks Online connection to add orders to QuickBooks. Whenever orders are, and I'm going to select created and I'm going to select updated, and I'm going to call this workflow add orders to QuickBooks. And again, I'm not going to save this because I already have this workflow saved. Once I do that, I go to the workflow screen and I see that I've got the two workflows that I created plus a couple of others that I created earlier before this demo that we won't be looking at now. Uh, and now I'm just going to go to my Shopify instance, our development server, and I'm going to create a new order. And we'll see how this all works. So I'll click on the Create Order button in the back end, and I'm just going to select a couple of um, you know, fake products that we have here in the store, an engine and a couple of cups. Once I select those, I'll add a few more of these just so you can see a few things happening, a few things moving across. I'll pick a sample customer, and then I'm going to mark this order as paid, and I'm just going to select um, a money order. So notice that this is $25,682.14, and we'll see that in a moment inside QuickBooks. So there we go. I've created the order, and now what I'm going to do is go back to Flowlink. Um, as you remember, we uh, told Flowlink to go get orders every 15 minutes from Shopify. So in order to avoid waiting that 15 minutes, I'm just going to click on Run Flow right now. And when I do that, um, QuickBooks uh, Flowlink will go out and get the latest orders that just came in through Shopify. And when I click on the Transactions link, we'll see what happened. We should see that orders have been pulled in from Shopify and pushed out to QuickBooks, just like we told it. So here we are. Uh, we can see at the bottom that orders were successfully retrieved from Shopify. So we retrieved one order from Shopify. And we can look at the, the details if we want to. And we can see that order number 1077. That was the order that we just created. And if we look at the, the top transaction, we'll see that that order, once it came in, was automatically sent to QuickBooks Online, which is exactly what we asked Flowlink to do. So now we'll go look at our QuickBooks uh, Online staging sandbox area and we should be able to see that order 1077 has come in. So if I go to my sales, I'll scroll down a bit until I find order 1077. There it is. And if I click on it, um, I see that the total transaction amount is what we saw earlier, 25,682.14. Uh, we can see that the, the cup came in and the engine came in. Uh, we cranked it up to four cups, so we see that those all came in. And that's all there is to it. Flowlink will happily go grab orders while you sleep and put them into your QuickBooks Online installation, giving you one less thing to worry about.